The first matrix decomposition which we're going to learn is the Elgier decomposition when we would like to write down a square matrix A as a multiplication of the two triangular matrices, the lower triangular matrix and the upper triangular matrix. The essential idea of bringing or, or finding this decomposition is to eliminate all the entries below the diagonal of this matrix A. So let's say your matrix A is given in general form like this, so we would like to eliminate all the elements below the diagonal using the elimination matrices. So basically, we are going to multiply the A to the elimination matrix 1, 2, and so on in until it becomes the upper triangular form. So where we are going to eliminate all the entries of the A below the diagonal. Then we are going to just multiply all of these matrices and find the inverse and put this to here so that it becomes the LU decomposition. So basically I would like to put it there so this is going to be equal to EN and so on E1 and its inverse multiplied to the U and the multiplication and the inverse of this all of these matrices is the lower triangle the matrix. So please note that we can open up the brackets, but in this case it is going to be E1 and its inverse, and so on, EN and its inverse. So this is the L matrix, and the U matrix is obtained by eliminating all the elements below the diagonal of the matrix A. So let's consider an example. So let's say we're given a matrix in this form. So we would like to find the LU decomposition of this. So what we need to do is we need to eliminate this minus 3, 4, and 9. So elements below the diagonal. But we have to do this using the elimination matrices. So the first step is I would like to eliminate this minus 3, right? In order to do this, we need to multiply the first row to the 3 over 2 and add this to the second, right? The first row is multiplied to the 3 over 2 and we have to add this to the second. So in order to obtain the elimination matrix, we need to apply this operation, the row operation over the identity matrix. So if you multiply the first row of the identity matrix to the 3 over 2 and add this to the second, we're going to obtain this matrix, which is going to be 1, 0, 0, 3 over 2, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So this is our elimination matrix, which is going to do this operation. We have to multiply this to our original matrix with the entries t, 6, t, minus 3, minus 8, and 0, 4, 9, and t. So after this multiplication, so we are going to multiply this using the conceptual idea of the uh, of the combination of the rows using this constants, right? So in this case, so this 1, 0, 0, it means that multiply the first row to the 1, second row to the 0, third row to the 0, it is going to give us the first row. So this row means multiply the first row to the 3 over 2, second row to the 1, and the third row to the 0. If we do this, we're going to get a 0 here. So 6 multiplied to the 3 over 2 is 9, plus minus 8 is going to be 1. So 3 over 2 multiplied to the 2 is going to be 3, plus 0 is 3. So And the last row tells me that I just need to copy the last row as it is. 4, 2, uh, 4, 9, and 2. So this is going to be our E1 matrix, this is the A matrix, this is E1A matrix. So now we have to multiply this to another elimination matrix where we are going to eliminate this 4. So in order to do this, we need to multiply the first row to the minus T and add this to the third one. So in order to obtain the elimination matrix, again we're going to use the identity matrix. We apply this operation over the identity matrix and we're going to get the elimination matrix. It is going to be 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2 was the minus, 0, 1, right? If we multiply the first row of the identity matrix as a minus t, you're going to add this as the last one, we will obtain this matrix. It is going to be our elimination matrix t. So we have to apply this to this matrix. So if we apply this, it is going to be the similar as we, when we multiply the first row to the minus t and we add this to the last one. It is going to be 2, 6, 2, 0, 1, 3, 0. So the 6 multiplied to the minus t minus 12 plus 9, it's going to be minus 3. 
So minus two multiplied, uh, two multiplied to the minus two minus four plus two is going to be minus two. And in the last step, what we're going to do is we're going to eliminate the three. So this operation is obtained by, so actually, so this is our E2, this is E1A, and this matrix is E2, E1, and A. And the last operation which we have to do is, we need to eliminate this minus 3. We can do this by multiplying the second row to the 3 and adding this to the third row. Again, we're going to obtain the elimination matrix from the identity matrix. If we apply this operation over this, so basically if we multiply the second row to the 3 and add this to the second, we're going to obtain 1, 0, 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 0, 1, and we have to multiply this as E, T, E, 1, A, which is 2, 6, 2, 0, 1, 3, 0, minus 3, minus 2. So if we apply this, it is going to be T, 6, 2, 0, 1, 3, wait, oops, sorry, so it should be 1, 3, 1. So it means that I multiply the second row to the 3, it's going to be 0, 3, and 9, and I have to add this to the last one, it's going to be 0, 0, and 7. So I obtain the U matrix by multiplying the A matrix to the E1 first, then to the E2 then to the E3, right? So we obtain the U matrix by multiplying the A to the E1, E2, E3. Please note that all of this E1, E2, E3 matrices are the lower triangular matrices. So the multiplication is a lower triangular matrix. The inverses is also the lower triangular matrices. So what we're going to do is we would like to find the algebra decomposition now by multiplying the inverse of the E1 to the inverse of the E2 to the inverse of the E3. So let me find the inverse of the E1 first of all. So the inverse of the E1 is found very easily. So it means so E1 is the elimination matrix. It means that I'm adding 3 over 2 multiplied to the first row to the second row, right? So in order to find the inverse of this, I need to do the inverse operation, right? I need to subtract 3 over 2 multiply to the R1 from the R2, right? So the inverse of the E1 is going to be 1, 0, 0, minus 3 over T, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. I have to multiply this to the inverse of the E2, right? So this E2 means I'm going to subtract the minus T multiplied to R1 from the R3, and in order to find the inverse of the E2, I need to do the inverse operation, right? I have to add the T multiplied to the R1 to the R3. That is going to be 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 1. And the inverse of this E3, it's going to be 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, minus 3, 1. So we are going to multiply the three matrices using the combination of the rows or the columns. So in the first case, I'm going to use the combination of the rows of the second matrix. So it means that I need to multiply the first row of this matrix. There's a minus 3 over 2. Second row is a 1. And I have to add them, right? So in this case, I need to copy the first row as it is. So the second row is obtained when I multiply the first row to the minus 3 over t, and then this is the second one. It's going to be minus 3 over t, 1 and 0. And the last row is copied again as itself. And I have to multiply this now to this matrix, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, minus 3, 1. So now I'm going to combine the columns of this matrix using the coefficients from here. So the three coefficients means that I need to multiply the first column to the 1, second column to the 0, and the third column to the 0. It means that I'm, I just need to copy the first column of this matrix, of the first matrix. So this column means multiply the second column to the 1, third column to the minus 3. So basically I need to multiply the third column to the minus 3 and I have to add this to the second. It's going to be 0, 1 and minus 3. And this column here means that I need to just multiply the first two columns to the 0 and the last column to the 1 which is going to be 
the last column. So this is going to be my L matrix. So we obtain the L here decomposition by multiplying the inverses of the elimination matrices, which is going to be 1, 0, 0, minus 3 over t, 1, 0, t, minus 3 and 1. And the U matrix is obtained by multiplying the A to those elimination matrices, which is going to be 2, 6, 2, Zero one three zero zero seven. So this is how we need to obtain the LU decomposition.